What's up guys and welcome back to Software Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Escape from Tarkov and its latest updates. Now a lot of people are struggling with this and they're having problems with Escape from Tarkov like stutter issues, latency issues, FPS loss and all those fucking fucked up things. Now there's a few things that you can actually do to make your game run a little bit better. Now before I jump into this game's settings in game settings, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to do with the launcher itself and with your Windows itself as well before you go ahead and jump straight into my video settings where I change settings for the game. You need to do these things as well. It plays a very big role on your machine for this game. All right, so as you can see, I have my launcher open right now. What you're going to need to do is you're going to go over here and you're going to go to where it says logs and you're going to open this up. Now you might have a bunch of shit inside here now i highly recommend you just click on anything inside here and press ctrl and a and then just delete on your keyboard and delete everything inside here and then go ahead and empty your recycling bin and clean it out because these are just files that you don't need now ever since you had this game installed on your machine it's been downloading stuff to that logs and you don't need them you really don't need them you need to get rid of them and a lot of people don't get rid of them so i highly recommend you go ahead and get rid of it once you're done with that you're going to click here again and you're going to go to clear cache make sure you just click on that once and it will clear the cache for your game it's highly recommended to go ahead and do that now, once you're done with that you can just close out of this and then you're going to need to do this you're going to press the windows key and r and then open up your run tab you're going to type in temp just like this and press enter click on anything Control and A, so everything's highlighted, delete on your keyboard, and you're going to say do this on all current items and say continue. Now, if it does this, it means that Windows is currently using this file over here, so you just say cancel, because you can't delete it, because Windows is using this specific file. You're going to close out of this, press the Windows key and R again. This time, you're going to put a percentage symbol in front of the P, which is Shift 5, like that. You're going to go all the way to by the T, press Shift 5 for the percentage symbol, so percentage, temp, percentage, and you're going to press enter now you're going to click on anything inside here as you can see there's battle state games you're going to click on control and a to highlight everything press delete on your keyboard and say do this for all current items or you can just click like this and then go to skip now it will delete everything it can and the things it can't delete windows is currently using close out of this and you're going to do this one more time press the windows key and r and you're going to type in prefetch just like this and then press enter you're going to say continue to this click on anything and then what you're going to need to do from here is you're going to press ctrl and a highlight everything and delete you're going to delete everything inside here say do this all current items and say skip because windows is currently using this file over here and then then you are done with this then you're going to go to your recycling bin and clean your recycling bin and make sure that everything has been deleted once that is done this is the next step you're going to need to do go to start go to settings and then go to update and security and make sure that your windows is up to date and it's on the latest version click on check for updates and make sure that your windows is up to date it doesn't matter if you are running a windows 10 machine or a windows 11 machine or even anything lower than that right you also get these over here which is optional i highly recommend you go ahead and download and install this i'm not going to do this right now otherwise you're going to watch me download and install this latest version go ahead and download and install it it plays a very big role on your machine itself your windows needs to stay up to date then of your windows is up to date you need to make sure that your gpu is up to date as well so as you can see i'm in geforce experience over here i'm going to go to drivers and then as you can see here it says geforce game ready driver and it says download now this is the latest driver version for nvidia graphics cards which is 531.41 please go ahead and download this and install it Go ahead and do that. You need to keep everything up to date. Your Windows, your graphics card drivers, and then also just the client for the game itself. You need to keep them up to date so your game runs really smooth. Please go ahead and do that. Once you're done with that, close out of this. Then you're going to need to do this. This is just something that I do personally, and it does help for all my games. Okay? You're going to go to Start, Settings, and you're going to go to Privacy over here. And you're going to scroll all the way down to where you see Background Apps. And you're going to go from On over here to off you might have way more things installed on your machine over here and what it's going to do is it's going to run in the background and use your resources like your ram and your cpu and it can use your vram of your gpu as well now as you can see over here i have wallpaper engine as you can see it's showing the time and everything and this is just a picture of escape from tarkov now i highly recommend that you go ahead and close all background apps before you launch into escape from tarkov close all background apps 
everything that you can close close it it doesn't need to run i run this just because i make my videos and stuff like that and when i don't game okay i close everything in the background when i actually play games i go ahead and close all of it all right now this is for people out there that's using nvidia graphics cards like me you're going to right click on your desktop and go to nvidia control panel and open up an nvidia control panel this plays a very big role on your game itself you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to go here you're going to go where it says use the advanced 3d image settings and click on take me there it's basically just going to take you to manage 3d settings which is this over here now i'm going to have comments obviously asking me yo dude why aren't you going to programs and then look for escape for tarkov and change the settings inside there i don't do that i go with global settings because what this is going to do is it's going to help you with every single game you're going to be playing not just escape from tarkov so all you're going to need to do is just follow every single step i have over here this plays a very big role on your game itself for stuttering issues go ahead and click on this don't put it on driver default don't put it on disable don't put it on limited put it on 100 gigs okay high performance on the texture filter quality make sure you have this on high performance and then where it says here threaded optimization make sure you have this on on where it says triple buffered make this off and then these at the bottom of here all four of these you do not need to change any of them leave them as they are where it says open render gpu you're going to just select your dedicated graphics card don't say auto select select your dedicated graphics card and then scroll a little bit up something i want to show you is low latency mode click on this if yours only has ultra select ultra but if it does have on go ahead and switch it on do not have this off have this on it will actually increase your games latency in the game so you don't have stutters and stuff like that because people are complaining about that and this is how you fix it now this is how you fix it for all games so just copy my settings as you can see inside here exactly as is just copy you can pause the video just copy them as is and you'll see a significantly increase in all your games not just escape from tarkov all right once you're done with that you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and you're going to come inside here i have my brightness at 50 because i changed my brightness inside my game and it's your own personal preference on the brightness but i do recommend you go ahead and put the contrast a little bit higher than 50. so i put mine at 65 which is a sweet spot for me and then i highly recommend you click on the image 3 over here and go to digital vibrance my sweet spot is 95 with my screen i'm currently running you can play around with this as you can see if you put it all the way down your screen is going to go black and white you go all the way up over here and you can see the digital vibrance of your screen intensify so it makes the clarity look much much better in the game so the grass the trees your guns every every single thing in your game is going to look much much better trust me on this and you don't need to use nvidia filters which actually decreases fps right once you're done with that you're just going to apply these settings all right so something i just want to point out is this over here every single person that has joined my membership over here every single one of you it really means a lot that you guys have joined my membership and became a supporter of my youtube channel and that is also watching my members only videos and it really means a lot to me i just want to thank every single person that's inside here that became a member thank you so much it really means a lot all right ladies and gentlemen let's jump straight into the game settings and let me show you the best settings you can use right now for escape from tarkov's latest updates all right let's jump straight into it all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in my game right now, and this is the latest version, which is 0 0.1303. This is the latest update for Escape from Tarkov. So you're just going to go to this little gear icon over here at the bottom, go to settings, and go to your game over here. Now, as you can see, I have everything just at its normal things, its, its defaults. I have my FOV at 50. I actually am going to push this all the way up to 75 because I actually play my game like this. But for a lot of people, this is going to be your own personal preference. Literally, it's going to be your own personal preference on what you're going to need to do here. Now, I have these over here as default as well. I don't play around with them, but there is things that you're going to need to play around. So change your FOV. It's very, very recommended to do this, but it's your own personal preference on what you're going to do inside here. Once you're done with that, you're going to click on the gear icon again and go to graphics over here. As you can see, I play my game at 1080p at 16 by 9. A lot of people out there play on ultra wide screens and stuff like that. So then obviously you're going to select your resolution of your screen. So 1080p, 2k 4k 1440p whatever the case might be change it to your specific monitor okay now for a lot of people out there that's getting screen tearing
tearing in the game what that means is you you physically see screen tearing on your game i highly recommend putting vsync on then and you won't get any screen tearing inside your game at all so go ahead and turn that on if you don't get screen tearing at all while you're playing your game turn this off then you don't need it okay texture quality i highly recommend you go to high over here and keep this like that it will say that you need to change this over here like restart your game it will say that because you're going to need to do that all right shadow quality i highly recommend if you are running anything like a 20 series and higher medium should be fine if you're running anything like a 10 series and lower i do recommend that you click on this and you actually go to low have this at low because what it's going to do is it's just an fps hogger so i highly recommend that you go ahead until this to low if you're running anything like a 20 series and higher like a 30 series 40 series you can go up to up to ultra or high it's your own personal preference or i just recommend medium so you can actually just get more fps out of your game the game still looks perfectly fine at medium over here okay object LOD quality, I highly recommend you just leave this at 2, and then overall visibility, now this plays a very big role on your machine that you're running, overall visibility, I have mine at 1000 right now, and I can actually still see everything perfectly clear, and then I have my anti-analyzing at TAA, I do recommend that you go with FXAA if you're running anything lower than a 20 series graphics card and you're struggling with FPS in this game, then you're going to go to either off or you're going to go with T. AA. Go with that and you should be good to go on the anti-analyzing. Now the resampling, I have mine at one times off. I don't really recommend going with anything higher than this. Just leave it like this. Your game should run perfectly fine. A lot of people actually use NVIDIA DLSS and then as you can see there's three options here. So for NVIDIA users out there that uses NVIDIA DLSS, I highly recommend that you go with quality because this NVIDIA DLSS actually gives you blurriness inside the game while you are playing, okay? If you change this to balance, yes, it will give you more FPS, but it's going to give you blurriness inside your game and you do not want that. Trust me, I've tried this out. The game is really blurry on your right and left hand side while you are running or while you are moving. When you're standing still, it's okay, but obviously you're not just going to stand still in the game. So, Go with quality if you're using NVIDIA DLSS. Okay, from here, if you don't use NVIDIA DLSS and you maybe use AMD FSR, I highly recommend using 1.0 and not 2.1. Go with 1.0 and then actually go to ultra quality and make your game look really, really good and you'll increase FPS inside this game. Trust me, your game will look really smooth and your FPS will be really, really good, okay? This one of here, I highly recommend you go with max performance and not high performance or high. Go with max performance. It will help you in your game. Okay, this I don't recommend using unless you use super resolution inside your game. Then it's your own personal preference. I'm actually going to turn mine off and leave mine off. All right, this over here, I have mine ticked over here. Z Blur, I actually have this off. I don't use this in my game. This I do use and this I do use as well. The MIP streaming. I don't use it and then the grass shadows I don't use you really don't need to see the shadows inside this game for the grass you really don't need to see that once you're done with that you're just going to click on save and you're going to go back to this little gear icon and you're going to go to this over here where it says sound now a lot of people are having it's really fucking weird I will not lie a lot of people are having problems with this if you turn this off you can get more FPS and it's the sound options. I don't even get this. I honestly don't. I don't know how this is a thing where you are getting more FPS by turning this off completely by having it unchecked like this and then actually saving it. But you're going to need to restart your game once you change that. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and just show you this. So this is my overall voice over here it's my overall voice that i have you, you know your microphone volume so obviously i can select my headset that i am currently running right now now obviously i use discord so i'm not really going to talk in game but obviously if you want to chat to someone else like an enemy it's your own personal preference okay but like again like i said this plays a very big role in fps and i don't know why it's a thing but for some reason when you uncheck this you actually get more fps in your game and this is the sound settings it has nothing to do with like your graphic settings but it actually gives you more fps which is weird really I, I i it's mind fucking boggling on turning this off try it out have it on play a game go out of the game restart it turn it off and then go into a game again and see your fps it actually increases fps which is really fucking weird 
Don't ask me why this is a thing. It just is a thing. Okay. From here, you're just going to save all of these settings and make sure, like I said, you have this like this. Please go ahead and have this like this. You can go ahead with overall graphics quality and change it to like, you know, low if you have a lower end machine. And then you can go to from here to like medium if you have a medium in machine. And you can go to like high. I don't really recommend this. I do recommend having this at custom. I'll go over this again one more time. If you have a very low end machine, you can go over here and go to medium. I don't recommend low. Low just makes your game look like horseshit. Don't put that at low. All right. The shadow quality, you can go with low over here. You can go with two. This should be okay. But the overall visibility, I do recommend on a thousand. If you have a really good graphics card, you can go to about 2000 or 2500. You can even go to 3000 and you should be good to go. And then also go up over here to about three if you have a really good graphics card. Anti-analyzing, then you should have this at TAA high. It will make your game look really fucking good. Or you can still go with FXAA. It gives you more FPS and it makes your game look really, really good. Right. So, this over here where it says resampling, then just go with one times off, and then obviously have your NVIDIA DLSS on if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, and go with quality. Don't go with balance, don't go with performance, it's not even allowing me to go with performance because I have things set already. Right, go with quality over here, and then this one over here, you go with max performance. This is super resolution, I don't play around with it, it's not my type of thing. Now, as we go down over here, it says NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I highly recommend you put this on On Plus Boost. It's the best that you can use for this game right now. It's on On Plus Boost with the machine that you're currently running. Sharpness, I have mine at zero. I don't want to sharpen this any more than what it already is. Then you get your Lobby FPS Limit. It's obviously at 60. And then your Game FPS Limit. I have mine at 120. I'm capping it out over there. And then the MIP Streaming Buffering Size, I leave mine at 16. I leave mine at its defaults. All right. You should be good to go with this settings over here. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel for your new year. And as always, I'm just here to help the Tarkov community. Peace out.